It's cataractcoach.com, where the resident case of learning how to do a capsorexis. So you'll see something a little different here. This is me, the attending, making the extra paracentesis incision. And then the resident who's just learning, who's a novice, is going to learn how to do the capsorexis. So here's the resident making the main incision. So I'm going to put a fixation ring down, hold the eye gently. There's the paracentesis. Now you can tell the paracentesis for the resident is with the right hand. Therefore, this is a left-handed resident. And as you know, I can do cataract surgery with both hands. You'll see my other videos on this site where I can do cataract surgery right-handed, left-handed. It just doesn't make a difference. And I think a lot of expert surgeons, after many years of practice, are able to do just, just the same thing. So there's the, ins the eye being infiltrated with anesthetic. And then the remainder of the anesthetic is being placed on the cornea to help numb the eye. Now here's the resident attempting to fill the eye with viscoelastic. So a little bit goes in there and you know that's just not going to be sufficient. So let me help them out here. Let me take the syringe and show that we want to have a fill of the anterior chamber that's quite good. I want that dispersive viscoelastic to coat the endothelium. That is much better. So now it's going to be time to make the main incision. So again, this is a tough case for the resident to choose because it's a tough view. So zooming out here, fixation ring going on the eye, and then the keratone gonna be used to make this incision. Now in this case, we have the resident operating superiorly because that's his choice. So there, well, not quite. So again, with a resident case, you've got to be very patient. Things take a lot of time. So the fixation ring is going to be placed down. Oh, light went off for a moment. Figuring out what positions of the pedals do what things to control the view or the focus or the zoom. And then now getting a more appropriate level of zoom. A little BSS in the cornea to keep the eye hydrated. And now let's put the fixation ring down and get the main incision done. So there's the keratome. We're going to make a single plane incision just about like that. That actually looks pretty darn good. I like that. That's great. Now it's time for the caps rectus, and this is arguably the hardest part of this case. And that's not just because we have a novice here, but more importantly, the view is terrible. These cortical spokes are going to block the view. So the capsule is grabbed. A rex is attempted. Re-grabbing here. And watch carefully. I just don't know what happens here. It appears as if there's a tiny baby rex that's made. But that's not going to be sufficient. So what should we do now? Hmm... Let's put a little more viscoelastic and let's try to see what's going on. Get that bubble out of the eye. Make sure the cornea is nice and wet. Put a little more viscoelastic. So we've got some sort of irregular small capsular opening. And if we could figure this out, great. So let's try grab it where we think we left off. And it's not, it's not able to tear. Hmm, this is something going on. So in this situation, let's try again with the forceps. No, let's try cut the capsule. So we'll take the side port blade right here, cut the anterior lens capsule, and let's try see if we can grab the capsule now, the anterior capsule rim, and let's try create a capsule rexus that's going to encompass fully that irregular area. So we try to grab here where we tried to cut, and I think I kind of have it, and maybe not. Let's try down here. Ah, there we go. We've got a spot down here. So I'll grab the capsule here now, and I want to tear this spiral bigger 
than the area that we had at the beginning of the case where it was irregular. So let's make a nice generous rexus to avoid that original area where the rexus initially went south. So taking our time here, we're going to bring this around and we're going to create a nice round caps rexus. Again, our rexus is encompassing the irregular area that was caused by the resident. So we finish our rexus here. I'm going to fast forward towards the end of the case here. That's me filling the bag with viscoelastic. Here comes the eye on the eye. And now you can see the rexus looks pretty darn good. We've got a case here where the caps rexus, it's a little on the large side, but it's nice and round, it's curvilinear, it's continuous. No steep or sharp edges, no areas for it to radialize. It looks pretty good. Now we're gonna insert the eye well in the capsule bag, taking our time nice and slow to push that lens inside the bag. So the resident surgeon is using the, the hands and sitting here superiorly and injecting the eye well. That side port cannula going inside the eye, that's me with the viscoelastic making sure that I'll just go ahead and position your lens the way that I like it. And that means the entire lens in the capsule bag. That looks pretty good. So now let's remove our viscoelastic from the eye and we can seal up our incisions. So I wanted to show you this video today because if you do start off and have some sort of irregular or small capsule rexus and you're not sure what to do, you can just make a new rexus larger than the first pre-existing one that you made and encompass it so that any irregularities are just taken out of the eye. And so like in this case, we now have a nice, round, generous, intact, curvilinear capsule rexus and the patient will have a fantastic visual outcome. So again, take your time with these cases and I wish you all the best.